It's Throne of Eldraine free release weekend. And I went Friday night to my local game store. It was kids night. So I took my eight year old son to play his first magic game, meaning I played the magic game for him while he just looked on. And we destroyed, totally destroyed like the 12 year old kid that was sitting before us. And I don't know, I, I don't know if I should feel good or bad about that. I mean, I'm 44, I would hope that I can beat a 12 year old boy you know, get get your heads out of the sewer. So anyway, uh, I but I left early because my son was getting bored. And but he got some of the basics down that you have to play a land, you have to tap it, uh, you play a creature. So he's still a little bit too young, but he, I think he was intrigued by it. So anyway, so this is like the the booster pack that he got for playing. Uh, this is the Throne of Eldraine collector booster. On Am I had pre-ordered one on Amazon for $30, and I canceled it because, uh, you know, I don't think you should spend $30 for a pack of Magic cards unless it comes with a blowjob from Jennifer Lawrence. So that's not going to happen. Um, so I was happy that they gave this out, and we will open it. On Amazon, it says, uh, Supercharged Booster Experience. Hmm. All right. We shall see. Uh, and it did. I, I was able to get the Buy a Box promo. It's pretty cool. Kenrith, the Return King. Uh, the This is a great card, by the way. This this helped me uh, win both games against that stupid 12-year-old. Uh, Rankle Master Pranks. It's a fantastic card. Uh, I use the discard one most. That, I think that's the one that can give you the least damage uh, because this card, it hurts you as much as the opponent. Um, you don't want to give your own opponent a card. So I just, you know, I didn't want to do that. So, but great card, and I'm glad I got it as the pre-release. And I actually lucked out. Um, I got six rares. So the this one, I got a couple of the lands. I got this thing, the Great Henge, which is a, it's pretty cool. Uh, and then I got another of those uh, lands that looks like the Star Destroyer. And check this out. So I got a Foil Mythic, the Circle of Loyalty. And, are you ready? Ooh, an Adventure alternate art foil rare that's pretty cool so what that means is this box should contain i'm curious because i watched skadoosh bad boy gaming I, he opened a box and he, i know he got a rare one of these too i don't know if it was a foil one i don't know if there's a foil rare alternate in every box i don't know that so we'll, we'll see what happens um but th there should be some cool stuff in here so what we'll do first is I'd like to open this first just to get it out of the way. Let's see if we have a supercharged booster experience. Uh, I, I, could, I could use that because some of these cards are going for a crazy amount of money. All right, so run away together. Eh. Okay. Barrow witches. Eh. Wolf's quarry, the three little pigs. Eh. Knight of the keep. Eh. Okay, so Reaper of Night. This is pretty cool. Uh, okay, that's kind of like a, uh, it's like one of those discard specters. I always like those decks, so, yeah, that's not bad. Uh, Dwarven Mind. Oh, God. Into the Story. Ferocity of the Wilds. So these are the uncommons that you get. Rally for the Throne. Okay. Ardenvale Tactician. Smitten Swordmaster. Okay, Rose Thorn Acolyte. So I think what happens next is the next card should be one that you can only find in uh, one of the Brawl decks or the Planeswalker decks. Yep, I was right. Taste of Death. Eh, you know, it's... it's, it's I am not having a supercharged booster experience at this point. Let's see if uh, there's two cards that can hopefully make up for it. So let the supercharging begin. Uh, okay, so this is a full art non-foil uh, rare. Okay, whatever. Let's see. It is Fires of Invention. When you cast a spell, you make you can cast spells only during your turn, and you can cast no more than two spells each turn. You may cast spells with converted mana costs less than or equal to the number of lands you control without paying the mana costs. All right. Um, I did not have a supercharged experience. I don't know about you. It comes with a token. So I don't know about you. I will probably take these tonight. I'm going to go to another pre-release and I will see if I can trade 
uh, for anything good because I really don't, these cards really don't do anything for me. Uh, they, yeah, I mean, look, the alternate art ones are kind of cool. Um, the, the adventure ones I, I like. Uh, I, I keep the Reaper of Night. I, I like the way that one looks. But beyond that, these are like, eh, it's not really a big deal. So anyway, so I'll take the rares with me tonight and just make sure that I'm not missing any. You know, I guess I can take some of the, I'll take the alternate art ones of these two. I don't really care about the token. And uh, so I did not have a supercharge experience and no, I'm not going to go back and order another $30 pack. It just doesn't make any financial sense for me to do that. So let's start with the pity pack that we got last night. And we could have gone on and won the whole thing. I think we could have won a box of these things, but my son just wasn't into it. And I didn't want to keep them there any longer than we had to. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna go through the comments, who cares? You know, by now you've seen them all spoiled. So I'll put comments over there. I the broom. I do like some of these though. The broom's kind of cool. I got the Pinocchio one. All right. Uh, God. Okay. So it's the creepy child molester from down the street. Oh wow! Wait a minute. Oh, I completely missed. All right. So these are the uncommons. All right. Wow. So that's not bad. Brazen borrower. All right. That will be taken with me tonight uh, to see if we can trade. And I will, and it comes with a token and a land. So what I'll do is probably makes sense to, I, I, I do things somewhat differently than other people who open packs. Um, I'm gonna keep this over here. Uh, I will keep the mythic rare there, I guess. And uh, I'm not gonna stack the uncommons in front of me. I don't really care to do that. So let's see. Let's see. So unlike the Modern Horizons box that I opened, I, I don't think I'm going to have any problem taking the ones of these that I don't really like to the uh, game store tonight to trade. Because what I would hope to pull from this box, there's always something we hope to pull from a box, is the Questing Beast. I would love to get a Questing Beast. I really would. So that's one I would like. Uh, I would also like that knight that is like the Varaska's Contempt or whatever the heck it's called that you can destroy a creature or planeswalker with it, uh, and then you can bring it in as a creature later. That thing is awesome. And it, it has an excellent uh, adventure art that I would love to get. I don't know if that's gonna be possible or not. So we'll put the Mythic Rare right there. We'll put the Mythic Rare pile right there, and let's let's start. Let's get cracking, Captain. So, uh, it's gonna be a mess around me now. All right, whatever though. Okay, so we do not care about commons. Uh, so let me just put the commons here and uncommons over here. Okay, so anywho, one, two, three, Piper of the Swarm. Okay, this card is a bulk rare and we do not care about it. So we'll put it in the bulk rare pile. Uh, okay, on an adventure. Oh, that's kind of cool, uh, whatever. Uh, lands on an adventure. We'll put that in the token pile over here, out of, out of view. So the bulk rare pile where we put the uh, bulk rare cards that didn't really have any friends in school. Always get picked on, have to go to the guidance counselor. Likely to become school shooters one day. Okay, so. Da, 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 da. Okay, what's this? Uh, enchanted Carriage. Let's see. Uh, uh, knight. Familiar. Okay, so it's a Escape the Wilds. Okay. I don't know, should that be a bulk rare? It's, you know, I'm, I'm, I'll put it down here. Let's see, the mythic, Mythic's up there, Cool Rare's down there, Bulk Rare's up in the corner. That's, that's fine by me. Wow, it's already nine minutes into the video. This is gonna take a while. It's late as. Ah, oh, God, another pumpkin. I don't care about the pumpkin. We want a good, yes, this is one that I wanted. This is absolutely one that I wanted. Uh, I pl can play with it on Rena in a, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Oh, Jesus Christ. See, I'm getting old. I can't remember it anymore. Uh, it's not a proliferate deck. It's uh, a mass, the amass deck that I have. This thing is excellent for that. It is not a bulk rare in any sense of the word. It goes in the good rear pile where it's hot and, it, you know, the boy cards will want to sleep with it. So let's see. 
So questing beast, that's what I'd like to get. And uh, you know, if I don't get it, it won't be the end of the world. I'll just trade for it tonight because I'm sure somebody will have it. There we go. And doop, doop, mwah, uh, lock mirror serpent. All right, that's that's. I know that's a good card. So we'll put that there. That's cool. All right. All right. So far, so good. I, you know. And I am eager to see the distribution of foils. Uh, I mean, foil rares and the number of mythics that we get in the box. And we have not gotten one yet. That's from the pity pack. Uh, okay, so. All right. Bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. Okay, cool. Bone Crusher Giant. I like it. Ooh, okay. Uh, a Garen Brig Carver. All right, so we'll put that there. Not bad. Uh, this, this, this video is going to take absolutely forever. But I don't care. We, we, we each work at our own pace. If you want to hang out with me, that's fine. I mean, look at it. Be, you're lucky. You don't have to clean up all this crap when it's over. Ooh, wow. All right. So that's pretty cool. Shepherd of the flock. All right. I'm going to put, uh, I don't care if it's foil or not. I'll put them there for the alternate art ones of those. Okay. And I did get a Castle Garen Brig from the, uh, the pre-release uh, pre -release event last night. Uh, another foil. So that's cool. Those are good cards. People might want to trade for them. See, I don't play... Uh, uh, in Vintage, I, I don't know if there are really any cards in this set that could be played in Vintage. I'm sure there are. For blue, there's always something with blue that you can play in Vintage. But green-wise, um, the Henge thing, whatever that's called, I, I don't know. Uh, ooh, mm -hmm. that's a good card. That's one people will want. So it goes in the mythic pile right there. Awesome. Awesome. All right, so one mythic, and it's a good one. It's a good one. Uh, I don't know if you guys opened your arena packs, but I got like a ton of those stupid magic mirrors. And, um, oh, God, that stupid gargoyle that's probably in this pack as we speak. Oh, wow, that's cool. That wizard thing is cool. All right. Ooh, and this is a good uncommon. I like that. Played with it in... Uh, uh, in arena. All right. So far, we're rocking and rolling. Not bad. So. All right. Magic slipper. Uh, well, it's a, it's a rare. The Gilded Goose. I keep calling it the Golden Goose because I get confused, but that's okay. All right. And I don't care about any of that. That's cool. Stay down there. Uh. So it's a fun set. I have to admit, it's it, it's fun. I I didn't open the War of the Spark, Spark War of the Spark box that I got. I actually sold it. Just, I, I it's a fun set. I just I just didn't really want to break it open. Whereas this one, absolutely, it's just it's fun. It's a fun fantasy set. Ooh ooh aha! Uh -huh. That is awesome. It's a beautiful art. It, it really is beautiful art. Wizards of the Coast did a fantastic job with this. So. Uh, let's see if, I'm curious if there's at least one rare like that in each, uh, in each box. I would be curious about that. Uh, if there are, you know, if there are multiples, awesome. That's fine by me. If there's even a foil rare of those, that would be fantastic too. All right. Let's see. Once in the future, giant killer. I got this, uh, as the funky, alt one of those, uh, yesterday. It, it's, you know what, I, it, it's going up there. It's a bulk rare. I, I don't, oh, wow. Okay, so this is my uh, add seven. You can only cast one more spell this turn. This might be a sleeper good card. I, I don't know, but it's it's pretty darn cool. So it's a cool foil and I'll put it there. Uh, I really don't segregate things in foil piles. You know, the rares, I just try to keep the rares together, I suppose. Except, uh, you know, I try to make the bulk rares feel bad. They just, you know, they have to earn it and they haven't. Okay, spinning wheel, okay, uh, Iron Crag Pyromancer, that's kind of cool, I think people are going to want that, uh, I don't especially, so I'm actually looking forward to seeing what I can trade for tonight, what people might be interested in, uh, uh, yeah, unlike Modern Horizons, which I still, I've not sold one card from that box that I've opened. I, I feel strangely attached to it. I can't quite explain why. Uh, it, you know, I'm, I'm not attached to these cards at all. 
Uh, Clockwork Servant. Oh, I love that card. I love that card in Arena. I've won because people just give up because they can't attack because they're low, too low on life. It's a great card. Uh, Lock Dragon. And okay, this is actually a good one. That one I know is good. All uh, right, so. Uh, for who cares? And the On an, Ad on an Adventure. All right, one third of the way done. We're at 15 minutes. This is gonna go on and on. So why don't you go get a drink? Come on back. All right. Leave a note in the comments about the favorite card in the set for you. All right, so, uh, Thunderous Snapper. Hmm, okay, Bog Naughty. And, you know where you're gonna go? Because I got four of you in Arena last night. I don't, I have no idea if you're gonna be good, but I'm putting you in the bulk rare pile just because I am sick and tired of seeing you. Oh yeah, okay, so I got a Garrick Emblem. I would love to get that Garrick card. That's, because uh, I like black and green. My vintage deck is black and green, except it costs six to get that out. It's, you know, it's absurd. And in vintage, it's all about speed, really. Low cost. All right. Uh, Wintermore Command, or was it, what did that say? Yeah, Wintermore Commander. Joust, being stuck. Oh, that's pretty cool. And we get a Brazen Bar. All right, another one. I think there are going to be blue players that will want that, so uh, no problems. No problems there. All right. I'm actually kind of glad I'm doing this, opening it before I go to the pre-release. And, oh, okay, Fable Passage is pretty cool. You know, it's kind of like the, uh, the juiced up, whatever the hell that thing is called. Uh, I, I just don't, I, my, I'm, my, I'm losing my memory. Uh, I would have... Uh, been able to tell you the name of that card before, uh, but I just I just don't remember it. I, just, I hate it. I don't know. Forty four is too young for Alzheimer's. That's for sure. All right, Specter Shriek. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, good, a Clackbridge Troll. I like black creatures like this. I like. Very happy with it. it goes there. All right. So, so far, two Mythics. That's not great. I mean, I think in these boxes, you would hope to get at least five. And, and you know, we still might. We've still got, like, a box and a half, or excuse me, a stack and a half to go. So, hopefully that happens. Okay. That's kind of cool. I like that. Oh, that's uh, such beautiful art. Seb McKinnon. Lord Seb McKinnon has done it again. All right. Oathsworn Knight. Okay. None shall pass. Yeah, yeah, you dorks out there know what that is. No, no need to do anything more than that. All right. Now, before I go to bed tonight, the name of that card's gonna pop in my head. Evolving Wilds, I think that's it. All right, so found my knight, that thing, and Mirror Maid. All right, that's actually kind of a cool rare. People will want it. I think people will want it. You know, if that's a card I could see being played in blue. In, uh, excuse me, in vintage blue. It's vintage blue is all that crap. God, I hate playing blue and vintage. Hate it. All right. Okay, glass casket. That, that, worthy knight. Oh, God, all right, the knights. I'm gonna get sick of this. I'm putting it up there just because I do not like knights and it's, you know, whatever. It might be good, I don't know. I mean, really, we don't know anything about these. I'm just... Okay, so my son had fun last night. He did, and uh, he's only eight. So you, you have to be able to read and really comprehend. All right, so I got another one of those. That's fine. I can trade. I don't mind trading. See, I wonder if that's worth slipping in uh, a vintage black deck instead of a... It might be. I don't know. I'd have to... I got a buddy that likes to help me uh, make these decks up and run it by him. Um... Yeah, but you have to be able to really read and comprehend the cards. He can read, but I don't think he can comprehend what they all do. Oh, yes! Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim cheree. I got a questing beast. Uh, um, I'm so happy for me. See, I saved it. Saved it. All right, questing beast. Now, the other thing I could do tonight is I want to get Verdant Catacombs. I need them for my vintage deck, desperately. So if I can trade some of these in, well, it, it, I, it's probably, it would probably do best to put these on eBay, actually. 
Uh, ooh, that's a good card. Stone Coil Serpent, I'm happy with that. That's actually very beautiful. Uh, that's a good card. All right, so, so far so good. All right, so we're down, after this one, we're gonna be down to our final stack of cards. And then I have to clean all this stuff up. Uh, and it's a Dance of the Mance. Uh, turn up the X target RN R with a converter. I don't know. If I have to read too much into it, then it's not good. You know, I just want it to tell me. Kill something. All right. Easy. Just jostle the camera. Let's see. So the I guess the older kids there. Were there kids in high school there? Oh, okay. Doom foretold. I think that's probably uh I think that's a bulk rare. I I I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Yeah, each the uh, sacrifice yeah, that's a bulk rare. That's crap. Uh, um so that yeah, there's high school kids there playing. Uh I'm looking at my son and I'm trying to think, well how I don't know. When my son gets to high school, I, I don't know. I, will he get laid in high school before I did at that age? I don't know. I really don't know. That's I know I shouldn't be thinking that, but being the good father that I am, I will tell him, Nathan, wait until you are married or unless she's a really hot cheerleader. That's I think that's practical advice. It's not good advice, but it's somewhat practical. Uh, let's see. This goes... Let's see. These are the uncommons. Uh, that's not that great, that dragon. Uh, but it's it's a big dragon, so I'll keep it in the good rear pile, even though it's borderline. It, it, I mean, it's probably bulk, but I have an affinity for dragons, so... Anyway. I'm just keeping it real, people. That's what I think of. Will my son get laid in high school before I did? I, I think so. I think he's a good-looking kid, so... Anyway. I didn't get laid in high school, by the way. Oh, wow. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> All right, all right. You know what? Mm. Yeah, I, I, I had to force myself to do it. Sorry, it just uh, that's a bulk, bulk damn rare. That's what that is. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful bulk rare. So hopefully I can trade it in. Or, you know, get something for it tonight. But I'll bring in a binder full of this crap and uh, you know keep the stuff that I want to keep and just bring the trade bait over. Uh, I got another one of those. Uh, yeah, I'll put it there, even though it probably doesn't belong there. All right. All right, we're getting near the end, and we have three Mythics so far. I'd like to get at least one more, uh, preferably a Planeswalker. That would be nice. I mean, not just Garrick. There's that uh, other weird one that's in here. Uh, let's see. All right. Yoko or whatever. I don't know. Yoko Ono. What the hell is it called? Feasting. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll take it. That's one of those funky ones. Uh, you can return it to your hand. All right. Yeah, that's all right. That's not a bad foil rare. I like, see, I like these kinds of cards. I, I, I actually, it's this is one that I am not at all unhappy to get. Uh, yeah, it's kind of, it, it's, it's like a vanilla type creature, but it's going to get big real quick. I like playing mono green colors or mono colors. So awesome. I like it. So very good. I'll take it. All right, we're in the we're we're in the home stretch. So we did get a. That's the only foil rare. I'll I'll, I'll go through it again. And uh, I mean, I could do a valuation of the cards at the end, but I mean, they, they, it's going to fluctuate so much because the set just came out. And oh, that's really nice. That's that's pretty. All right. Uh, that thing again, that black glass card, whatever. Uh, you know, I, I'm sure there are people who are going to want it because knights are going to be big in the meta, as they, as they say. All right. Da, da, da. Okay. No, it's not that chaotic right now. All right. So, uh, acclaimed contender. That's lame. I think I accidentally put a... Yep, I did. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'll put it up there just because. Wow, we're down to the final... What is it, five packs? Yeah, we are down to the final five. I'd still like one more Mythic. I would. I, I, I don't think this is a home run box. 
Uh, it's a good box. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not unhappy, but I think we need one more Mythic to make it a really good box. So let's just see what happens. Still possible. And that's not a Mythic. Fires of Invention. Right. That's all I got to say about that. Free Mythic box. That's not, that's just not that good. We can do better, wizards. That Flaxen Intruder. Oh, I like that card, actually. That's, I, I, I love this card. I can't wait to play it in Arena against that goddamn Elemental deck. All those stupid Risen Reefs. Oh, God, I hate them. So that's a great card. Love it. That's one I'd like to keep. Three packs. Three packs. Oop, 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 oop. There we go. One more Mythic. Come on. What are the odds? What are the odds? I don't know. I'm not looking at the pack. I'm not going to read anything into it. I just, you know, I'd like to get one more mythic. I think that would be good. Okay. Uh, it's not a mythic. It is... Oh, Jesus. Uh, only because I think some people might want it. And I will happily trade it away. Two packs. Oh, this is not a home run box. Three mythics is not a, a really good box. I, I am. But, well, you know, hey, look, it is it's it is what it is. I can't complain because I got a free, uh, uh, you know, supercharged booster experience out of it. So we can go with that. Animating Fairy. That. And uh, Linden, the Steadfast Queen. Uh, it's not, you know what? People might want that. It's not terrible. Uh, okay. So, all right. Well, last pack, folks. Let's see what we do. Let's see what we do. I just hope there's a Mythic in here. I just hope there's a mythic. Preferably a good one. It's like I'll have pulled as many mythics from that uh, booster uh, pre-release pack last night. Almost as many. I didn't actually pull three. Okay, one, two. All right, for all the beans. Now, uh, okay. Well, I did not get that. Maybe there's a foil one under there. There is not. All right, well, hey, can't win them all. So... Let's see what we got here. So these are, are, are what I think are the uh, decent cards in the set. I don't think I really got that many duplicate rares. I, I, I don't believe I did at all. So I'm, uh, I'm pleased. That's fantastic. Oh, it's beautiful. That, that's just a beautiful card. Uh, and that will be as a, annoying as hell. Uh, I do not have to trade for a Questing Beast. That's one that I really wanted to get. So maybe I can trade for a Garrick tonight. If somebody gets one, I won't mind doing that. These are the mythics that I got. I don't think I missed any. I, I, you know, I don't think I did. So this is the one that I got from the pack last night. These are the three that I got in the box. I don't think three mythics in a box is especially good, but the ones that I got I think will be sought after. Uh, I am definitely keeping that one, and I will not mind trading those away at all. So I hope you guys... I uh, enjoyed this. I hope you have a fun time at your pre-release tournaments, uh, and I hope you win. Talk to you all later.